My name is Dr. William Arroyo. I'm an orthopedic sport medicine surgeon at the El Paso Orthopedic Group in El Paso, Texas. And today I'll be demonstrating the all inside technique for the radial meniscal stair utilizing the Depew MyTech TruSpan device. Here we have a young male with a right knee pain, with a diagnosed lateral meniscus tear. The first thing I like to do is to perform a diagnostic arthroscopy, identify any additional injuries, and rule out any other pathologies. Here, what I'm doing right now is the probe. I'm looking at the radial tear. I like to see the extension into the meniscal capsular junction. Also, I like to see if this tear can be repairable. In this case, this tear is repairable. The next thing I like to do is use the shaver and do some light debris at the edges of the tear. This will help me to have fresh tissue and uh, increase the blood supply to this area. I also like to debris the meniscal capsular junction to also stimulate healing after the repair. Something additional I like to do is to use a spinal needle and I create vascular channels. I do a fenestration, both the stumps of the tear, also at the meniscal capsular junction. This will increase my blood supply and the healing potential of this repair. So here we're ready to perform our meniscus repair. The first thing I like to do is just put the skid that, that comes with the, with the kit and I like to put it right in the, the, the right direction where I want to put my implant. This will help me to avoid any condyle damage and also will guide me to where I want to put my implant. The first thing I like to do is just be a couple millimeters from the meniscal capsular junction and a few millimeters from the edge of the tear. I deploy the first implant and at this point what I like to do to help me deploy this implant better I like to use my probe and I always try to pull on the second loop, try to keep the tension on the construct. This will help me to avoid flipping of the implant into the meniscal capsular junction. It also help me tension the repair more carefully. Then I would just go with a suture cutter and we just cut the suture flush into the meniscus. So we repeat the process what I like about this implant is few things. Number one, it's very ergonomic. It's very easy to use. The implant deploys very safely. And also it's made of orthocord, which is partially absorbable. This implant also comes in peak, also in PLGA, and it comes in three different angles, zero degrees, 12 degrees, and 24 degrees. So here, what I'm doing here, just deploying the, the implant just the same way I did with the previous anchor. I go side to side, trying to grab a good tissue of that meniscus, going to the meniscal capsular junction and flipping the implant on the back of the capsule. What I'll do right now is the same. I'll try to hold the second loop this will keep the tension into the construct. It will keep the implants against the capsule and avoid flipping through the tissue. With the Pro, just tension very slowly, get a good compression at the repair site. This way, finalizing our repair. Here we have a stable repair of a radial meniscus tear. I'm using the Pro looking for stability looking for any gapping at the repair site. Something else I like to do, I like to use a condo pick and perform microfracture of the notch. This will help us to bring all the bone marrow elements to the repair site, just to stimulate a better healing response and help our meniscus to heal and having a good outcome. So here we can see the fat bubbles start migrating from the microfracture holes. This will bring all the bone marrow elements to the repair site. This will help us to have a better healing response. After surgery, I like to keep this patient non-weight bearing with a knee brace locked in extension. After two weeks, 
they can start weight bearing as tolerated and initiate physical therapy.